set yes. of convex. Whoa. I know. I think those are the right words. Hopefully they're not opposite. <laughs> concave. I feel like yeah. concave would be the dip one. Convex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Adulting Midwest Style. My name's Alicia. And I'm Aaron. And today we got kind of a shorter episode for you um, since we had a Friday episode last week. If you haven't checked it out, it'll be linked above. It's a Theo update. But um, this episode, we're going to talk kind of about our simple pleasures in life, things that just bring us joy Yeah, the- that are slightly personal, slightly probably relatable. Kind of like the oddly satisfying yes. things that only really relate to us. Well, and I think other people could relate as well. So if you do, comment below or comment below any of the things that bring you simple pleasures or oddly satisfying things in your life. But to start, I have Home by Good City Brewing. If you haven't seen our top 10 or... Not tap 10, but our Midwest beer. beer ranking. I'll also link that above. Yeah. Because this ranked it? pretty good. I'm not going to give you a... Yeah. You gotta go not going to give it, but let and me I get have the this ASMR for you. Go ahead. Fulton Lonely Blonde. Nice. Which we had a really long time ago, and we had one more, so I thought... There Ooh. we go. Oh. Jesus. We have been terrible with opening our stuff. I don't just... spill. Don't spill. Don't spill. Oh. Crushed it. Oh, I, almost I just I picked Cheers, it up everyone. just to throw it away. Yeah, true. Cheers. All right. So simple pleasures, again, oddly satisfying things that are both probably individualized, but also somewhat relatable. I feel like some of these could be. And we're just gonna run down a list of things we came up with last night in bed. Yep. Um, the first one is definitely a me thing. Yes. <laughs> Aaron does not relate. Um, one of my favorite things, and I know I told them this early on in our relationship, is when you open up a fresh, brand new chapstick, and you know how the actual lip balm or chapstick is kind of ridged, where like the outside is up higher. It's like a little massage on the lips. I tell you, I love it. Yep. And- the first like couple rounds of putting chapstick on of a fresh new chapstick and then it makes it more like a dome eventually and then it's like not as fun it's not as satisfying so that is a personal one for me is opening up a fresh chapstick and using it those first couple times it's like Mm -hmm. a little massage little 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 self-care yeah and i would always like That's fine. I know exactly what the feeling is, but like you have such a strong feeling about this. I do. It's very strong. I always give it to you. Yes, he does share his chapstick with me. And then once. Like I'll crack it open, she would have just applied chapstick or something. Like, do you want some more? I'm like, yes, please. My lips, thank you. Um, My first one is the first sip of coffee. I mean, I relate to that one a little bit too. Because. Well, I guess you explain yours, and then I'll explain. Just, like, I wake up pretty early. <clears throat> the coffee usually is pre-made, so when mm-hmm. I wake up, it's already made. You pour it in there, and man, just, like, it's warm. It's black coffee. Like, if you can get to that perfect temperature of you're not burning your face off, and it's so hot that it's nice and soothing on the throat, yeah. It's a good day. For me, my first sip of coffee doesn't usually happen until like an hour and a half, two hours after I wake up because I typically like to finish my glass of water that I have in the morning because it Mm kind of weirdly makes me feel better about myself. Don't do that. Yeah. (laughs) And then so it's like uh, excitement, like, okay, I'm almost done with my water and then I have coffee and then I'll be happy. And so that's why I like it too is because I like purposely push it off until i finish my water for the morning and then i can have it and it's ah it's beautiful Mm -hmm. okay this one's a me thing because aaron um (laughs) doesn't sing but um i like just the fact that i will sing anywhere and i'll sing in the store i will sing in my shower i'll (laughs) sing in my car 
I will sing at work. My coworkers could totally vouch for that. Um, I, I like to sing and I'm a terrible singer. There's no reason why I should sing as much yeah. as I do, but I love it. It's a good release, you know, yeah. it's, it's a nice thing. Um, I'll go, I'll say the next one too. Aaron, will jump in sometimes with me on this one. And I believe I've mentioned this before is I quite enjoy speaking in a British accent, English accent, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And it's quite fun. Um, and what will happen will be like, she'll see one or she'll <clears throat> hear something British. And then it happens for quite literally the rest of the day almost there have been until Aaron says, stop it. There'll be times when I'll just be like, I just want to like, stop. Like, Are stop. you done? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been like hours. My sister-in-law also quite enjoys doing it. So again, we're terrible in a store. We will yell at each other in a British accent and then sing around and, and sing and dance. And we're quite goofy. literally probably the most annoying people in a store sometimes. But um, a lot of these are yours right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Because I don't work out. <laughs> the next one is being sore after a workout. Um, you've worked out before. So yes, you can uh, relate to the feeling of being sore, but you don't have that same. No, I, I think it's like sucks it sucks um back when i did used to work out um it would always be during the baseball season so it'd be like uh, like i'm really sore and and i have to go try to play a sport yeah like i just felt like i was at a detriment <laughs> like i could easily just hurt myself again yeah or but like for me, the idea of working out is is good for sports. Yes, for me, my the simple pleasure that I'm referring to is I I actually enjoy being sore after I've worked out. For some reason, it gives me like a sick satisfaction. Like, hey, I just tore muscles in my leg and must have beaten the shit out of my Abs. muscles to the point that I'm going to be sore for the next two days. But I like it because I know I worked out then. Weird satisfaction. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a, yeah, I realized that I probably, you know, worked out a little too hard or, you know. But that's making me better. But that's making me better. And I like feeling it. And if it goes on for two, three days, I'm like, oops, I'm, I'm still, okay with it. I'm still <laughs> sore from this ab workout. Um, And then this is kind of both of us. Aaron and I both like to kind of. Uh, set ourselves up for success in the mornings, mm -hmm. especially on a workday morning. Whereas um, we prep for the next day pretty much as much as we can. Yeah. So dinner finishes <clears throat> at probably what five forty five on a yeah, normal five forty five six ish. We make our lunches right then and there, and we put them in the fridge. In, in the fridge, we normally already have outfits kind of lined up. I work out like i work in a blue collar dirty like industry so i'll usually wear the same shirt and jeans two days in a row different underwear and socks disclaimer <laughs> um maybe you know same sweatshirt but um so it's just like finding new socks and underwear bam bam boom done yep oh. and then you i will choose my outfit make sure theo's outfit's chosen um, if daycare needed supplies, make sure that's all out and labeled. Um, we usually get Aaron's coffee ready for the morning. It's like 6.15 like at this point. Like, like we suggest, like, or like we mentioned earlier, like his is like it brews, delayed brew, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. So we have it scheduled in the morning. So we just have like this thing at night where we like prep as much as we can for the morning. So we set ourselves up for success. Sometimes. It goes to down to, I'm going to put the cereal next to the bowl. Yes. Not pour anything out, just like. Well, because part of it, part of it is we don't want to wake up Theo because it's five o'clock in the morning. Theo doesn't have to really be up until 630 for me to be able to get him ready to go to daycare by mm -hmm. leaving at 730. And so I really try to like not wake him up so that he sleeps in until the, as late as he can. And so, but we have to be up at five. He has to be at work by six. And I just get up with him because then I can get myself ready 
before Theo. Do your makeup, um, change your clothes, do whatever you need. And then you just sit there and sit on TikTok or. Well, yeah, I sit and have like a Zen time where I'm just like waiting for him to wake up because like lately he hasn't been sleeping later than like six. And so at least I'm ready by then. And so that's kind of why I still get up with Aaron, even though like for a while he was sleeping until like 630. So it's kind of up in the air right now. So the first scoop out of a peanut butter or jelly jar. This isn't me. I I don't have this. Yes. So this is the I rip the top off the peanut butter and it's just like that first good chunk out of the peanut butter out of the butter out of the jelly just like it doesn't taste any better it doesn't like it tastes the same but like what makes it so satisfying of destroying a perfectly like smooth service is yeah yeah you know it's a guy thing maybe i don't know i don't know i can't explain it but (laughs) it's just very oddly satisfying similar to like the chapstick it's still like it's, it's the same chapstick. It just feels just that slightly different because it's concave yeah. instead yes. of convex. Whoa. I know. I think those are the right words. Hopefully they're not opposite. <laughs> concave. I feel like yeah. concave would be the dip one. Convex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to be right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is also mine as of late. Yes. And I'm sure you saw it in the thumbnail, but I love the sense of gain. Yes. Um, All it's of a gotten, sudden, very recently. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't realize that so many things were made out of the gain scent. Well, yeah, we first we got the gain dryer sheets, mm-hmm. and, and then we had Febreze that had gain in it, and then just recently, um, yeah, we found um, was it Swiffer Sweeper oh, floor, yeah, yeah. floor mop jet. That, that has was gain also in it. recent. He had to get that, and then his l- most recent discovery is gain uh, dishwasher soap. Dish, dish soap. soap, yes, not dishwasher soap. All dish of a soap. sudden, it was in our Walmart pickup, and I pull it out. I'm like, like, oh, weird. We have now gain dish soap. I mean, we're not. I mean, we just got the Walmart brand last time. It's like yes. eighty seven cents, but this one's like two bucks. You know, it's two bucks in my pleasure. I mean. It's okay. I like it too. Don't get me wrong, but it's definitely an Aaron obsession. I don't know. It just smells really nice. It does. Probably causes cancer. Like it's for all we know. Probably not. I doubt. We it. like gain. Yeah. <laughs> but like, what makes it like it? It's that oddly satisfying smell to me. Exactly. Some people like. I I think a lot of people have that oddly satisfying smell. Whether whether it's well, like, yeah, like I love the scent, like. Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body mm. Works, my all-time favorite. It smells like a forever. Cupcake. It's it's really not though. The cupcake flavored candle is like a fucking straight cupcake. A cupcake. Um, but anyway, uh, next is cleaning ears, which I think this has to be relatable to almost anybody. When you get a nice big old hunk hunk of wax out of your ear. <laughs> we okay. So I will. A lot of people. But Aaron does it frequently. A lot of people clean their ears what maybe once or twice a week i do it after every shower sometimes i'll do it don't come for him we know it's not good for you like right in the middle of or like you're supposed to let them clean themselves right after waking up that's a good one i'm not sure why but also i'll wear headphones at work and sometimes the the buds of the headphone will get dirty so then you put them back in you know it's just like your hands are dirty whatever so sometimes you have to get the Q-tip of wet. Oh. Yeah. And you scrape around and you get all the dirt out. Oh. It'll actually come out like like right. See, that's probably why he likes it so much because he does get so dirty some days from work. So it's probably just. And I know my buddy has never, ever cleaned his ears. Like he can't stand that sensation. He's the opposite. Like he will just like have. I Which guess, is actually what you're way. supposed to do. Yeah. Like you're supposed to just let your what we should really look for like fall out or something. What we should really look for on Amazon are like the medical grade like fish scooper. Mm. That seems like a good way to bust an eardrum. Like we're not get them real nice and deep in there. Yeah. That sounds like a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so another one that's more me 
and you. I've done it. Uh, peeling off a face mask, like especially the ones that are like the peel off face mask is what I'm talking about. Um, you like put it on, let it sit for 15 minutes and then you just like peel it off like a thin layer of skin. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Does it feel nice? Yes. Is it satisfying? It's almost like when you were a kid, when you put like Elmer's glue on your hand and you like had to peel it off of your hand. Or, um, 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 if you dipped your finger in candle wax and let I it I never dry. did that. I definitely did the like Elmer's glue on the hand and like just slowly peeled off the dried glue. That's what it's like for putting off a face mask. My mom, when I was growing up, used to do those, and she would let us kids peel it off her own face. Yeah, so Aaron has a... Well, you've used my peel-off face mask. I have. And Believe it or not, like ladies. It. Hey. Yeah. Guys it, have face self-care, too. It worked. Yeah. Um, and it's it very is, satisfying. It is very satisfying. And then you get it in your eyebrow. Yeah, that sucks. And then you're... Oh, uh, well. Yeah, Aaron had it all up in his beard. Yeah, you gotta like clean shave. Yeah, almost, or just avoid that area. But sometimes you just can't. Like I try to avoid my eyebrows every time I do it, and there's always shit in it. So, um, oh, again, me not running, not no. ruining painted nails we in the spell. first five minutes. That is something I do pretty much every time I paint my nails. Is I somehow, even if I sit like a fucking statue for like. A half hour after I've painted them, you'll, I will always end up messing them up within the hour. And it's yeah. so annoying. Or you'll like, so when I do paint them and not ruin them, mm -hmm. it's so nice. Yeah. Sure. So nice. It looks like I get a fresh mani. Because I do, I mean, arguably, I do do a decent job painting my nails. I'm not sloppy. Um, it also helps you not bite your nails. Yes. Yes, Bad. it's true. Yeah. My habit. The next one, hairy wax strip. This, when when you really get and pull, like he likes to, well, helps me like wax my legs. So it's mostly him it's because also, he's the one that like actually pulls it off because I'm a baby and like, oh, it to myself. And so when he does it, he's like, "Yes, <laughs> like I did it," or like, "Well, it's also way easier for to not do it to yourself, right?" Like, whoosh, like, oh, that didn't hurt. Like, there was no yeah. hesitation, no nothing. And so it's kind of like both, like, for me, because he got a lot of hair. But for him, it's like, yes, I see it. It's yeah. good. But ever since I started using our wax, which I think we linked in one of our Amazon videos. Yes. Um, my hair doesn't grow very fast and not very thick anymore. Yeah. Heads up, everybody. Um, and this goes for both of us, This the last one, or this one. Watching Theo do something new, despite how scary it might be, meaning right. like him learning to go down the step in our living room, or just last night he figured out to how he can get on to our couches. Yep, he figured that out. Though it's scary because now you have to worry about him falling off the couch and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's always very he, exciting. Yeah, he was always able to like put his arms up there. He's like, I'm pretty sure I can get up here. He'd try for a while and just like give up and you know get frustrated. His mind would go so oh look oh a, yeah. a toy yeah. so I'll go over there. But now he like yeah figured out that the leg flips over and that's he how he swung that leg and now it's done. Yep, he knows how to do it. Same with like you know anything really. Well yeah, and even like when he was walking, when he was crawling, when he was rolling over, and then it's like that's all they want to do now. Well, we can't have him <clears> walking <throat> on the couch. No. You know, that's how they flip over the edge. That's how they misstep. That's how they step on a dog, you yep. know. So, though it might be scary at times, it is always super satisfying slash exciting to see him gain a new achievement, figure out something new, because you can tell in his face, he's like, yes! Yeah. Figured it out! It, it's always like that big, cracked up smile. Uh -huh. like, ha, I did it. It's, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Um, plucking my eyebrows, I, it doesn't hurt me really anymore. I, it did used to, but now I, I guess I'm desensitized or something. And so whenever I get a nice like eyebrow cleaning, either I do it or I personally like to get them threaded at this place in, uh, nearby next town over, or, you know, when I'm getting my hair done, sometimes I'll go get my eyebrows threaded too. I still don't know how that really works. It's just two strings that like, I don't, I don't really know either friction. I don't know. Gravity. But I prefer to do that instead of waxing. 
And I really like doing that. But anyway, the plucking thing, if I like clean up my eyebrows really good and I don't see anything, it's oddly satisfying. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't see that. And then this kind of goes for this both of us. This is her, but this is her. Yeah. Um, getting things on an unexpected deal. She will say something like, Oh, I need to. We're, we're really, lo or like something that you don't buy every week. Yeah. Some, like, uh, like shampoo. Yeah. Like, oh, like I need more shampoo. Conveniently, that weekend, that, guess what's on sale? That brand style, I don't know, whatever. The exact thing that I mention at home is on a deal, either have a coupon or it's on a deal or it's buy one, get one 50% off, whatnot. Oftentimes I can score a good deal on random things or call it intuition. Even Amazon, if you buy it, not, I, you know how price changes on Amazon like every, every other, other day? day. Yeah. It'll be like a thing Change. where you look, you look at the price and you'll go, all right, I'll buy it tomorrow. And you look again, it's like, what's lower? Oh, this is like fifteen dollars lower. Why? Don't know. But because you don't like Amazon, you just never know. So we'll have things sit in our cart f until we decide to like buy the cart for a few days. Because every single day, there's an item that's changed in price in your cart, and sometimes we it goes up in price, but most of the time something goes down, and we're like, "Well, we time just, to buy it." Yep, we just figure it out. Yep. So <clears throat> one thing in our cart right now. Side note, mm -hmm. we are getting some umbrella lights. Mm -hmm. We're excited. We hope that it'll help brighten us. This Come, way? Yep. Because we have this light above our heads that obviously brings a shadow down on us. So we're hoping if we add more light in front that we can really brighten up the videos for you guys who watch us. Yes. Um, But yeah, that is, like we said, a little shorter video. We kind of rapid fired mm -hmm. our simple pleasures, but we really do want you guys to comment below any that you have that are maybe even a little weird. Yeah. I don't know. We're not judging. Yeah. Um, comment below your simple pleasures or anything else. Content ideas, beer selection. Um, the, the last news. Do we, should we tell them? About oh, the yeah, last? yes. So let me bring up the calendar quick. Cause I had this pulled up before. Um, so next week is Mother's Day, which I'm a mother. Yes. Um, but we thought because it is Mother's Day and we'll probably do it for Father's Day too, is the following Monday or that next day, we will not be doing an episode. So now Sorry. in a week, so May 10th, we will not have an episode post. Due to the fact it's Mother's Day, we are spending time with family. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! We hope that you guys are spending time. Spring with family. allergies, man. Yeah, dude, I've been struggling. I hope if you guys have been following my Instagram, I post about it almost oh every other god. day. She cries. I my one eye just waters. My, just my nose cries. <laughs> but anyway, so due to the fact we're spending time with family, we hope everyone else is too. Um, May tenth, we are taking off. And we Most will post a new episode the following day. So May 17th. Yep. So again, May 10th, no new episode. Catch up though. Obviously, if you haven't caught yeah. up on us, catch up on old episodes. Absolutely. Um, but yes, May 17th will be our next new episode um, coming out. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Um, we hope you have a great rest of your week, everyone. Great Mother's First Day. First week of May. Cinco de Mayo this week. Woo -woo. It's gonna be May. I think we actually have tacos on the menu. Shockingly, maybe even on Cinco de Mayo, and I didn't even plan it. Huh. We should get margs. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Have a marg.